um, I call this the cherry blossom tree. One December evening, after I had turned great, my grand great grandmother kindly sat in her wheelchair. She moved to where I stood, so close, so close, so you could feel her wrinkled, dry hand clasped around yours, and her, her soft breath tickling your ear as she said, "Hold my hand when you cross the street." Innocence thriving, I asked Nana, "Then how will we get across the street tomorrow?" <laughs> tomorrow we were going to see the flowers on the cherry blossom trees, and she whispered together. But tomorrow never came for Nana. Yesterday I looked out my window at the same th same thing, a cherry blossom th tree for the last eight years, watching the life growing chlorophyll flowing sea of pink showing across the street. Sometimes at dusk, if you if you squint and stand from my window, looking at the tree at an eight degree view, you can see Nana and the flowers, clusters of petals forming the framed face and bushy hair. Trig twigs curved just enough, Nana's round glasses, with cherries in the center, the sweetness in her eyes. Her branches pointing to my window, beckoning me to her. For eight years, Nana revealed herself in the tree. She was always with me, continuing to bring me home to her. But yesterday, Nana lost her hair, lost the shine in her eyes, lost the shape of her glass glasses. Nana was sick, her tree ill. Tomorrow they were cutting her down, chainsaws cutting the neck as her blood runs down her trunk, axes creating the dents in her limbs that left scars on me, but who would want to kill a harmless old lady? Tomorrow they're cutting her down. So today I crossed Rolling Oaks Drive to go home to Nana, to say the goodbye that I never got to eight years ago. I sat on her, under her branches, sang our song that we used to sing as I sat in her lap watching the fire during de December. Nana's cherries fell into my lap. Tomorrow they're cutting me down, she says. The warning she never got. Nana, I cross the street to you, with you, for you. Goodbye to the person I never said goodbye to. Why do you try and snuggle with me? <laughs> you just tried to kill me 30 seconds. And I know the air must be fresh. Must smell a little bit like dirt. Something about love says I look like death when held too close. Mm -hmm. An open palm 